that you heard in the news, YouTube has suspended the monetization of Russell Brand's videos after the comedian was accused of rape and sexual assault. This is as the Metropolitan Police say they've received a report of an alleged sexual assault in 2003. Let me just show you this clip from Margaret Thatcher, which I feel is quite relevant today. A court of law is the place where you deal with these matters. If you ever get trial by television or guilt by accusation, that day, freedom dies. Which is actually <laughs> the ethos that Russell Brand has been talking about on his channels for a while. Um, we're joined now. I, any excuse to show Margaret Thatcher? Can I just Thatcher, say about that, though? Um, uh, you see, Mrs Thatcher would not have, have been a fan of Russell Brand, let me tell you that for a start. On a personal level? No, on a personal level. She'd have thought he was loathsome. I think she's a bit but, deeper than that. Uh, well, I knew her, and unlike you. She would have not liked Russell Brand at all. But also, Mrs Thatcher would have wanted, as a lawyer, as a lawyer, as a lawyer, she would have wanted women... Who've, who, who allege they were raped or sexually abused by a very famous television personality to have their day. I, and if we, they haven't got the courage, you can do both. And, if and if they're not you willing, and if they're not willing, because they're scared of going to the police, if it takes the media to expose it, all well and good. We are joined now by Big Brother spin-off. Uh, Big uh, uh, Russell Brand hosted. You, you weren't the host of, of uh, I'm not a spin -off. Big Brother. You're not a spin-off. <laughs> I think we're all spinning off a bit today, aren't we? Um, Ashleen, you were on the programme with Russell Brand when he was hosting Big Brothers. What was it called? Big Mouth. Thank you very much. Appropriately named Big <laughs> Brothers. Perfect person for uh, the job. Big Mouth. Um, what was your experience of him? How did you find him? Um, eccentric, engaging, funny, a lot of charisma. Um, you know, I, I didn't feel any sort of predatory energy from him but that was just my personal experience obviously these poor women have have experienced something else but i'm with you allegedly. in the sense that allegedly i'm with you in the sense that i don't i don't necessarily agree with uh, trial by media i think that things should go to court and things should be proven um and obviously the person in question ha be able to defend his case mm. so it's, oh, it's just awful. I watched the programme and I just was devastated for those women. I've been in a similar situation myself, so I could my, my empathy was, you know, sky it, it, high. Well, in what sense were you in a situ similar situation? Um, well, I don't want to go into too much so, well, detail. What can but, you tell us? Um, sorry? What can you tell us, though? Uh, I was just in a, in a relationship with somebody who, who pushed the boundaries way too... Mm. I, I said no in a situation and no wasn't taken as no so of course i 100 percent understand how these women feel um it, it's 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 just awful for everyone but i don't agree with trial by media yeah the and of course part of the we've talked about this a lot in the program today is that women find it very difficult to go to the police they find it very difficult to talk about the fact they've been abused yeah, I didn't. So I didn't. Um, so I can understand that. And why didn't you? Um, because I just thought, you know, I mean, I, I was in a long term relationship with this person. It's, people are not going to take it seriously, mm. but I, I know exactly what happened. Um, having a conversation with that person and explaining, do you realise what you did? Do you realise that that was, you know, mm. wrong? Um, he then, in hindsight, could say yes and apologise. So, I, I, for me, I got my closure. Mm. Do you think, in terms of, not necessarily in terms of the law, but in terms of the media, that the complainants in this situation um, should retain their anonymity? Or do you think that, that the journalists oh. should have encouraged them to, to, to put their names and faces to the broadcast? Because... That does then allow other people who might have been there, witnesses to come forward. Personally, if it was me, I would have... I say things with my chest, <laughs> which, yeah. for want of a better phrase, I, I personally wouldn't feel that I should be anonymous because I'm mm. going to speak my truth and hopefully it can mm. help a lot of others. But not everyone feels the same as me, so I can't speak for these women or on their behalf. But I, as I, I just keep repeating myself, I just think it should be done and, in a court of and, law. But an anonymity has been at the heart of rape investigations for the victim, mm -hmm. be they male or female, but mm -hmm. predominantly female, mm -hmm. because if they were to be exposed uh, with their identity, even fewer people, even mm -hmm. fewer women would, uh, would come forward. That's been the convention in this country 
for decades. Yeah, that, that's a very good point. Um, personally, I, I don't feel shame or, or guilt. Mm. Like, it's not my fault. I'm more angry. But a lot of women don't feel the same as It's as an me, interesting so... word because I think that's where that initial anonymity in these cases came from, was the idea, a decades-old, old-fashioned idea, that it was shameful to be yeah. raped. Yeah, exactly And I think that's that, a very yeah. outdated concept I'm, I'm now. I'm not sure no. that women who've been raped would not think that. Well, they shouldn't think it's shameful yeah, to but, be raped. But I think they do, wrong. but I think they probably do. Well, they shouldn't, because they've done nothing yeah, wrong. Yeah, so... but, and, and they don't want the, the, their shame, as they would experience it, on TV and radio. They, they, should have, they shouldn't well, feel shame because, uh, as you said, it's not their fault. You know, the, it's, 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 there should be f no shame felt, but perhaps they feel shame of how they'll be looked at from other people. That, as I say, it's a very old-fashioned concept, though, isn't yeah, it? In, a, in an era where female sexuality is normalised mm -hmm. now, when we, it's not, you know... Yeah. But politically, there's absolutely no pressure in this country for the laws to change, for women to give up their anonymity in, if, if they make Yeah, I don't allegations think there should be. I think each woman, uh, each man, even, in this kind of case, should be able to keep that an anim... <laughs> I can't anonymity. say that I know, it's a difficult word. Yeah. Nobody knows who they are. If they want, because, as I say, not yeah. everybody feels the same. I think I would, I would agree the with same that, passion, actually. I think me. because we live in a media world now where, and a social media world and everyone's, got a, everyone's a reporter mm. with yeah. a camera, I think there is an argument that those who are accused should also be able to retain their anonymity now until those, such time yeah. Those that, that they are accused are. as well. Yeah, I, I, I think so as well, but... Um, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd have to say I agree with that. Mm. Just to go back to Russell Brand, because that's we started. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, was he good company? Uh, I didn't really keep a lot of company with him. Um, I remember always being amazed when, he's, when I see him say my name, because you forget, you forget that you're on TV, you forget that, you know, this person would mm. <laughs> know who you are. He was um, engaging, funny, as I said before, um, Tonya was saying, who was on with us earlier, she's back in the studio, a bit later, she said she, she was amazed to see how many women, when she saw him in a social situation, yeah. threw themselves at him. Oh, my God, let me tell you, there was a whole subculture back then. Uh, my friends also... <laughs> we had Blackberry Messenger. They'd oh, yeah. have messages sent to them, right, this footballer's going to be at this club tonight, this celebrity's going to be at this club tonight. You'd have, like, people that worked in the club grassing up the celebrities to girls who would specifically get ready, get dressed up and make a beeline. I, I never quite understood it, if I'm honest, but I'd still go along. Um, just, to, just to get... A shag, basically. Can I say oh, that? I'm so sorry. sorry <laughs> on daytime TV that you've, that you've heard. Or, that. May, or maybe a wedding ring, maybe. Well, Longer this is term. what I didn't. I'm sorry, I didn't realise that was a bad word. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, they'd literally. T uh, my friends included, as I say, would and, go out and just actually, to just to. And but I want. To, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to and, think and of a bad word. Snare a rich bloke, maybe. Snare a rich bloke. There not you go. But it never get married. Not, not, no, no, no. It was just like it was just sort of fun. A game, right? A trophy lover. Particularly in those days, of course, you're talking about 20 years ago, and... God, I feel old. Is it that old? Is that how <laughs> yeah, long ago it is? It and you is. were on Big Brother. 17 to 20 years So ago. it is that time. And also, Russell Brand was a ticket to get yourself into a tabloid. I if think you were, were seen when, the, when there were a position. lot of young women who were trying to break through to television, also, you know, if you were seen with Russell Brand, you would be in the newspaper. That's very true. To be clear, that does not mean that anybody deserved to be sexually assaulted or no. raped by him. You should be able to message a man, meet him, have a drink with him, go back to his room and still be able to Absolutely, say no. Absolutely, yeah. of course. I just feel like that TV companies need to be held a bit more accountable as well because anyone coming from a place of addiction, uh, especially heroin addiction, which mm. is the hardest drug to come off uh, in the world, that's what they say, um, going from one extreme to then another extreme of sex addiction, which he spoke about openly, I feel like more measures should be put in place to protect. Um, and watch and guide, because once you're an addict, you're always an addict of some kind. Mm. And if you're swapping drugs for sex... Which he openly admitted he did. ...then you're going to push the boundaries m mm. more and more and more and become more and more extreme because that's, that's the nature of addiction. You see, that was what was quite interesting about the documentary is when there were people who worked on those TV programmes who said, you know, we didn't put certain people on those shows, we were worried about them being in contact with him. That is being weaponised to show that he was predatory. I think that shows a duty of care well, on the part of those programmes. Duty of care, 100%. That, I mean, a young girl... Even if girl... it just meant they didn't have their feelings hurt yeah. and be led on by someone who was famous and was going to ditch them for the next woman. Yeah, I mean, you know, to, to allow a young runner to be 
sort of his best friend yeah, I watched on the documentary. That's right. That, to me, just screams inappropriate mm. and there needed to be more duty of care. Do you think there is today? I actually, I can definitely feel a massive difference. I yeah, agree. There's been a massive shift and I don't see anything like that no. now. When, well, I thought one of the things that was striking from the documentary is when... Um, Channel 4 used the footage of him and his, I think his co-presenter, sort of taking the mickey out of the newsreader on his BBC yeah. Radio oh, 2 yeah. show and saying how sexy she was. And yeah, da, da, da. That, like, you don't see Tatiana that now. Tatiana Sanchez is gorgeous, but it would be totally inappropriate for Andrew Pearce yeah. to say anything <laughs> about how gorgeous Tatiana Sanchez is. Yeah. And, and, it just and wouldn't it, happen now. It, no, no, was, that you're right. And it was, very, it was also very crude, what he said. Oh, it was disgusting. Oh, it I was revolting when I watched back the programme. Yeah. I just was But not illegal. No. And no. not illegal. It wasn't, no. Would you like to go back on Big Brother? I mean, honey, if the paycheck was right, <laughs> I'm not doing it for free ever again. <laughs> was it for free Did you then? Get paid? I got paid thirty pounds a day. No, is yeah. that what you used to pay on Big Brother? Thirty pounds a day. Wow. Yeah. Then. Did you make money out of it though? Oh yeah, definitely. Right. Well, yeah. as afterwards. Yeah, I made. You got a good age. Life changing money. Oh good. Yeah, and I invested extremely. Well wisely. done, you. Thank well so done. if you go back or yeah. the jungle yeah. next time. Oh yes, please. <laughs> but, my, but your agent's going to get you decent whack this time. Oh, yeah, definitely. I've earned it. 17 well, years in the business, darling. Here she is, here she is, <laughs> if you want her. <laughs> Ashley, so lovely of you to come in. And, um, Thanks and for having me. And you're looking Thank great. You. Thank Ashley you. Ashley Hogan, Wallace, there.